Hey guys, Phoenix here. Mm, today I am going to be showing you a tutorial on keyboard shortcuts, the basic ones in After Effects. So let's begin. Uh, first one I'm going to show you is Command and I, or Control and I, if you've got Windows. Basically, what this does, if I'm selecting the right thing, it allows you to import footage. It's a really good shortcut. Another way is right click in here instead of having to go up to the top. Um, next is Command and N, which is a new composition, which like that. And then if I go back to the other one, if you click on a clip, press Enter, it allows you to rename it, which is very useful as well. Spacebar, if you hold it, it allows you to grab, which means if you draw in a mask or something like that, then you can do that, move it, and carry on. Get rid of that. Um, next is Control and D, or Command and D even, for me, which is duplicate, basically creates an exact copy of the clip. Um, another good way is Command Alt and D, which doesn't seem to be working for me today, and that's because it's not Alt, it's Shift, sorry I'm getting confused. Command Shift and D, could you go away please menu bar? No? I'm not gonna go away. Hold on. Really, that worked last time. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, um, Command Shift and D. It creates two separate uh, splits, clip and two, and either side. And there's one e either. Uh, I can't speak. There's one clip either side, but it's obviously split down the middle. So if it's a video, the video will stop there and it will start there, which is also very useful. Um, next, next is. B, if you press B, it begins your work area, which is the, this bar here, which is basically the part which will be rendered when you render out at the end. It will only be in between these brackets, so if I put it, say, here, and ends the other one to end it, B and N, they're right next to each other on the keyboard. So, yeah, that does that. Um, next, zero starts the RAM preview, but you can't really see it because I don't have a video. It's already all RAM preview, but which is basically this when you press that button there. That's what it does. Uh, next, um, the brackets that are, if you look along your QWERTY keyboard, along the top line, or the top of the letters, which actually obviously says QWERTY, next to the P, you have the two brackets, which are square sort of brackets. They're not rounded, they're completely square. You use these. To move your clip, you press the left hand side one to bring your clip to where your um, what's it called? Your bar is. So if it's over here, see the clip moves there, and you use the other one, the right hand side one, to move the end of the clip to where you want it. And then you use Alt. You press and hold. Is it Alt this time or is it Shift? I better just check. Yeah, it is Alt this time. You press Alt and the end one to end the clip there, and Alt and the beginning one to begin the clip there to trim it down instead of, which is also very useful. Um, next, T is the opacity, or opacity, however you like to pronounce it. Uh, P is position. Make sure you've got your clip selected when you're pressing these, by the way. L is the audio, but there's no audio on this clip. This menu bar is really annoying you now. Um, L and L would be the waveform if you put, double tap it. Uh, actually, perhaps I should get a clip in with audio. Um, I need the videos completed. Mm, please drop boom because that's a cool video. Put that in. Yeah, so um, audio. See it comes up with all your levels, then you double tap it, it comes up with the waveform. Uh, okay, next, delete that. Um, it's rotation, which is R. Obviously, because rotation stops in R. And then S is scale. And E is all the effects you have on it, but I don't have any effects. So, let's put something around them. Do that. Uh, that I don't know. If you press E, it comes up with both the effects here, which 
very useful. Then, ooh, for the next one. Oh, get out of the way, maybe, but I'll do this. Put some keyframes in. Um, yeah, and then you click U, and it comes up with all of the keyframes that are currently there. Which is, so on all of the different effects, of all the different keyframes it comes up, which is very useful as well. Um, and, well, hold on, I'll create a mask. Actually, I'll get rid of this random mask that is on it. Okay, so when you create a mask, obviously use the pen tool. And make sure you've got the layer selected. That's already a shape layer, isn't it? Oh. Seriously, things aren't working out for me today, are they? Okay, there we go, I made a mask. Obviously you can't see it because there's another clip behind it. And basically, for the mask options for this, click on it, press M, which brings up the mask path, which you can keyframe it and change it over time. F is the feathering, and MM is all of the mask values. And that is pretty much it. That is pretty much all I know. Um, if there are any other ones, like I said earlier, if there are any other ones you can think of, please comment in the comments below. And thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again.